thank God. Why him? Because he's going to be the one that kills me. Oh. Because I'm going to try to climb to heaven and kill him. I... I'm going to fight through all the angels. Uh-huh. And he's going to get a lightning bolt from Hephaestus and he's going to smite me. Yeah. Right? That's how that works. You just confused like three different mythologies there, man. I mean, they're all going to kill me? Mm-hmm. Sweet. God-faced Zeus. No, that's an actual English sentence. About the orientation of God. <laughs> uh, classic Cody. Classic Cody. Saying stupid things. All right, punch that rocket. 28th, Dave's going to get it wrong again. Punching rockets is not helpful to uh, things. Depends on your goal. No, it doesn't. Suck a bum. You're wasting all the time. Another hour gone, did you hear the chime? You're wasting all the time. Recorded for Thursday, June 28th. June 28th. Good job, Dave. 2018. Why, hello. And welcome to Wasting All the Time. A podcast. My name is Dave. I'm John. And I'm Cody. And we're going to waste all of your time. It's almost like you two are professional vocalists this and I am a hack. This is episode 277. Dave got the date right this time. And... Uh, I helped him. If well, you listened. <laughs> if you've gotten this far <laughs> and you listened, you will have noted that Cody gave me an assist. Mm, and that date. will count towards his statistics. Boom. Triple double. End of the year. Double triple. Podcasts. Uh, come to Jesus moment. Triple threat. Hat trick. Home run. I'm running out of sports terms that I know what they mean. You're running out of sports terms that you know what they mean. Ground rule double. Keep going. Oh, infield fly rule. I actually know that one. Uh-huh. I looked it up once. Uh, home. Home. In. No. Home. In the, in the park home run. Uh, uh, yeah. Triple crown. That's a horse thing. I thought that's what babies, that's what I do with babies. You triple crown them? That sounds fucked Only up. when you have triplets. triplets. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, sports terms, go. I'm trying. Cody's sports s- terms. Ski ball. Uh, <laughs> duh, duh. There's so many sports you haven't even gotten onto yet. Highlight? I don't know any highlight terms. Lacrosse? Is there a goalie in lacrosse? Or is he like a keeper? Or is it some weird British term? Quit asking questions and list sports terms. Triple double. I already did that one. Right cross, left hook, n- knockout, half court, full court, press, uh, s- weights, um, um, love, two tennis, um, stamina. Two tennis. <laughs> um, what are they? Stone, because that's what they're calling curling. Five more. Oh, Jesus. Five. Uh, dunk. Four. Backboard. Three. Uh, slap shot. Two. <laughs> Net. One. one. Rim. Okay, another ten. <laughs> <laughs> Icing. Uh, gross. Tra- traveling. That's gross. Uh, All these are gross. They just went gross now. Flagrant error? No, That's flagrant foul. So gross. <laughs> error is a computer term. <laughs> no, no, an error is a baseball term. But not a flagrant error. That's not a baseball term. Error is a baseball term when they miss the ball. That was our sports expert. <laughs> Cody Parcel. I think I hit like four sports total. Welcome to Wasting All the Time, a podcast. And uh, I think we've been through that. Uh, this is an improv comedy podcast. Emphasis on podcast. We're going to kick it off with a That's little segment it. that goes like this. Like what, Dave? Twitter shins. Welcome to Twitter Shin Rapid Balls, where we find the top three tweets on the entire internet of blogosphere. We'll read them for your listening audible pleasure. And it's going to be some pleasure. We got our pundits, Dave and John, or John and Dave, depending on your preference. Here we go. Top number three tweet from Body Banks at. I almost threw up uh, again. At Cody underscore Wasden6. It's a good first name, weird last name. 
Y'all ever been so sad that you just drive the speed limit, Dave? Hey, what up, Buddy Banks? Guess what? Yes, I have been so sad that I just drive the speed limit. It has happened. It is happened to me <laughs> in real life. Personally, and also in existence. And the speed limit is relative to the sign. So when I'm in a car and I am so sad, the speed limit driving is matching the sign. And also it's, it's a result of the sadness. And so in a game or in real life or in fantasy football where you're driving for points, the speed limit comes into strict effect and it sticks with me. That was good, and you talked a lot. John Rebuttal. Uh, you know, I, I don't really know how to drive anymore ever since the accident, so uh, ooh, speed limits are kind of irrelevant. It's good. Fuck the rules, probably. Number two. From. Ah, from. Bling, bling, blink. At heart of, heart underscore of underscore a blink. Maybe it's like a Blinken. Where air the tutorial for getting free streams is Korean music sites, John? Okay, this one I remember. This one I remember. I was listening to the radio in the car, and I was on my phone trying to get that, that you know, sweet, sweet K-pop. And, um, K-pop I, for life. I, uh, I downloaded an app. And I had to pay a lot of attention to it. It had a password protect, but I was, what was I doing? I had a pin number. There was a pin number that I knew that I got from Tony down at the deli. So if you go to the deli and talk to Tony, he can give you a pin number to get into the K-pop site and stream your music. And that's when I crashed. John crashed because of Tony's meat. Dave, rebuttal. Hey, what a bling, bling, blink. Guess what? I don't know where the tutorial is for getting me free streams of the KP music because I don't know what that is. And I've heard stories about how it's a real music and it's popular and there's like a, like some sort of Gangnam or something like that. But guess what? I'm so out of it that I can't even tell you a thing about streaming it or where the tutorial is for it because it's not important. It's not <laughs> important to someone like me, someone with my prestigious stature. Stature and Dave isn't sure if Korea is a real place with real music. That's that's about jibes. Mm. Number one top tweet on the entire internet. I swear to you. <coughs> I swear to you, this is a real tweet. It sounds like a words of wisdom, but it's not. It's a tweet. You can look it up from Alexandro, <laughs> Alexandro Hamilbot. That's good. At Andrew Hamill. Here we go. Melusine asserts himself when the squirrel who hurt our eyes half boiled away by chance. All the fuel runs through his brothers. Dave? Hey, what up, Alexander Hamill? But guess what? Melusine is indeed what you're describing, and the squirrel is a very real element of that story. All you have to do is the research. Do your research. I don't have to prove anything. All I have to do is say, do your research, and you will find out that the world is flat. And also, Melusine asserts himself when the squirrel who hurt our eyes half Biled away by chance. And that's not to say by chance, but it is the words are by chance, but not a real chance. Not even a half a chance. Not a hatience. Not a <laughs> bit of it. It's not real. And you do your research. Dave is king of arguing on the internet. John Rebuttal. I remember the squirrels. Yeah. Yeah. That was the first thing I remember seeing after the crash was the fuel um, seeping out of out of the, the gas tank and, and towards this, this group of squirrels that had like stopped to stand and watch for some, I've never seen squirrels do that before. And, and just the, the fire took them. And then I woke up in the hospital and I, um, and I saw, I saw this squirrel sitting on the edge of the bed 
And, but then I looked away and when I looked back, it was gone. And I know that it's going to take my eyes someday. So it told me that in my dream. John is a little too high for both of us right now. This has been a really weird, kind of depressing edition of your special Really Home Country Cooked. Well, what else could you want? What else could you possibly want? There is literally nothing that any human that has ever existed could want more from that. I am glad you agree with me, because otherwise we would have disagreed, and that always makes me anxious. I think that makes you wrong. Anxious. Okay. Well, potato, From my perspective. Potato, tomato. Yeah, they rhyme. I say potato, you say potato, because potato is not a word. Mm. 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 Agree to agree. Mm. Yeah, I, if we must. I think it's required by the Geneva Convention. Let's move it right along. I hope so. Two. Three. Four. Six. Nope. Seven. Huh. Hey, Dave. Yeah, John. Dave, what um, what color is this yeah, John? coloring book? The coloring book is the color of infinity. What color is infinity? It's something that's painted with all of the colors of the wind. Yeah, what is the point of quoting Pocahontas at me? What is the point? Wait, what day what is, is it? What is the polka dot? Hauntus Point? What day is it? Oh, interesting you should ask me because I just so happen to have a resource here that no. uh, has information about such things. Say not that it is true. Okay. Oh, well, that was easy. According to the National Day Calendar, which can be found at nationaldaycalendar.com, Yay! today is National Paul Bunyan Day. Oh, that asshole. On June 28th, we remember fondly the tales of Big Blue Ox and a Mighty Lumberjack. See, John, you have to be fond. Hmm. Ox tales. It is National Paul Bunyan Day. That was good, Dave. Thank you. Then they have this sort of uh, section, a small paragraph that's sort of offset stylistically. Like a quote box? Like it's formatted differently, but it's not... It could be a quote box, but I would expect it to be in italics if it's going to be a quote it's box. It's just weirdly placed. It's just got a weird little indent to Why it. Why not? And a vertical bar. Described as a giant and a lumberjack of unusual skill, Paul Bunyan <laughs> is one of the most famous North American folklore heroes. In the tales, Paul Bunyan was almost always accompanied by his companion, Babe Kyle. the Blue Ox. Shit, I always get that wrong. Now, a normally formatted paragraph. <laughs> good, that was good. Oh. First appearing in print in 1906 in a story oh, wow. published by Northern Michigan journalist James McGilvray. Bunyan's character. What was it? McGilvray? Yeah, McGilvray. Well, now you're changing M-A-C. it. M-A-C. Mac. So not Mac. Mac. Uh, followed with no space. By a capital G mm-hmm. I L L I V R A Y. Mac Gillivray. Mac Gillivray. He said undoubtedly 100% correct. <laughs> Undoubtedly. <laughs> Sorry, Scotland. <laughs> Bunyan's character originated in folk tales circulated among lumberjacks in the northeastern United States and eastern Canada. Oh, Canada. One account states that the tales began during the Papano Rebellion of 1837. That sounds like a delightful topic. And great cold reading on my part. That was good. Was it Papano? In 1914, the stories were reworked by William Lochhead. Wait, is that another Scottish pronunciation? Loch. Lochhead. <laughs> William Lochhead. Wait, is it Loghead? L A U G H E A D. Not L O G, okay? No. <laughs> Not like... Loghead. <laughs> It might be low eat or something like that for all I know. <laughs> for a logging company's advertising campaign. No, it's an ad campaign. God damn. And found a new widespread popularity. Right, right in the childhood. Fuck you, childhood. No, man, it's just like uh, Coca-Cola, Santa Claus. That's all. That makes Santa, me. Santa Claus already existed, and then he just got co-opted into. But you know, Rudolph is fake. The pornography that is advertising. Pornography actually originally meant. Art with no redeeming societal value. Like advertising. Yeah. 
<laughs> Ouch. Fuck. I agreed, and then, like many people, looked at what I had agreed to. It was the 1922 edition of Lawhead's Tales <laughs> Sorry, that Collins. inspired many others, and soon the character is widely known across all of the United States and Canada. The Paul Bunyan legend oh, tells that it took five storks to carry him as a newborn. And Stupid storks. As he was a little older and clapped and laughed, it broke windows. I love that <laughs> sentence. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's a great sentence. That, was, that is. And. <laughs> they're, they're just like, they reach the end of a thought and just hit and and then wait for something else to pop into their heads and start <laughs> typing that too. I'm going to do the best interpretation of the sentence that I possibly can. Oh, I'm so excited. <clears throat> The Paul Bunyan legend tells that it took five storks to carry him as a newborn, and as he was a little older and clapped and laughed, it broke windows. That's still a fucking horrible sentence. <laughs> the legend continues that oh, he good. sawed off the legs of his parents' bed <laughs> in the middle of the night God when damn. he was only seven months old. And that <laughs> Paul the, Bunyan too. The legend continues. And that the Grand Canyon was formed as he and Babe the Blue Ox walked through dragging his axe behind him. That was your fault. That one was your fault. <laughs> you can see it in your face. Aren't they all? <laughs> the myth of the Great Lakes being formed by Bunyan needing to create a watering hole for Babe to drink from is another popular one told by many. By many. Citation needed. Here's another one of those weird indented Yay. paragraphs. Many cities in the north central section of the United States claim the title as the official home of Paul Bunyan. How to observe. Oh, that's it? That, that was the indented paragraph? Read one of several of the Paul Bunyan tales. Use hashtag National Paul Bunyan Day to share on social uh, media. Don't. Don't do it. Wait. History, Dave? That's it, man. That's all they got. <coughs> all right. Paul Baby. Paul Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to go over the proposal one more time, okay? Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to put your face on the poster for this logging company, right? Okay. Yeah. So we're going to put your face on the poster, and we're going to sell the logging equipment, all kinds of logging supplies. You cool with that, yes? Uh. Sure. You're a great lumberjack. Thank you so I... much for your service. What's my cut? Your cut is you get to cut down as many trees as you want. I already did that. Well, now the zoning restrictions regarding that will no longer play a part. So you sell stuff with my face and I cut down Trees? Yes, and also we look over the myriad, uh, you know, felony deforestation charges. Also that nastiness where you, uh, you opened the giant fissure in the earth. That's going to be a national treasure you fucking watch. Okay, well, in the meantime, it's a big hole that people fall into. Not my problem. You know what it is? Nope. Because mm -mm. of liability law, mm -mm. you built it. Can't prove it. There's, there's a story. You. Oh, there's a story about you and your wife. Are we going there? You told the story. You told all the guys that story about how you dragged your pick behind you. Uh, my pick? I'm a miner now. Is your that ex, what's going whatever on? Whatever the hell. Oh, yeah, look at you, big corporate marketing guy. Hey, look, I'm a white collar guy. I don't know your. <laughs> Tools and whatever. Hey, what's the deal? You starting the meeting five minutes early or something? Hey, I thought we agreed on when we were starting so that he'd have equal representation so we could properly, you know, pursue our individual look, well, goals. You know, Bunyan here. Bunyan. Mr. Bunyan. Look, I know this is you, not Bunyan, okay? Look, Bunyan. Mr. Bunyan. Mr. I'm a celebrity now. Of course, of course. Polly, look, <laughs> what did they what did they promise you? Okay. Zoning rights or something and he Zoning. was trying to tell me that I wouldn't get in trouble for the grand whole ground, which is what uh -huh. I'm calling it. Uh -huh. But I allegedly created, but he can't prove it. And what, what does he get? He gets basically everything. Ah, uh, yeah. See, he doesn't even care about you. I know. You know? I, 
He, I'm he cares so little. I'm expunging multiple felonies from his record. <laughs> You're saying you'll do that. Look, I know the DA, okay? I, I can get further along with that sort of thing than you can. You know the DA, you fucked his wife. Yeah. That was you? Bali, you can tell that story, all right? I'm good. I have been. <laughs> And I approve <laughs> of your version of events. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is we can cut you a better deal. No pun intended. What's a pun? It's like a, it's like a waffle, but with words. I, I like both of those things. Right. All right. Listen, I'm going to be straight with you guys. No. Polly, I expected nothing less. That's good. Uh, I just really want... Something along the lines of 800 gallons of liquor because I haven't been drunk ever. Paul, look at me. Look at me. Look, I've got tentacles into everything around here, okay? I can, get, I can get you the 800 gallons, like, on the daily, bro. All we need you to do is just be the face of our new razor campaign where we do the shaving. You, I'd have to shave? So what you do is you'd shave with your axe. Like a badass, right? That's pretty, that's right. That's pretty badass. Look, people know you do this, okay? It's one of the famous stories, right? So you do that, and then we say our razor is in a similar sort of uh, thing to the axe in that it, well, it could yeah, shave. Yeah, you make it macho. You make it macho, right? Yeah, you make a watch. You make it macho. We, we make a watch, macho. Yeah. Yeah. You make it macho. Yeah, for the sell the razor blades. But look, man, you get 10% of the cut. Ongoing, you get 800 gallons of liquor a day. That's pretty good. Okay. You can chop down trees. You cannot chop down trees. It's not important to our image. I don't know. You get to That's keep the fun. ox. Did he tell you about the ox? What about the ox? Well, it's just that there's kind of a meat shortage going on right now. And what's a great short-term solution to a meat shortage? A great solution is to, to cook an ox. Kill one blue ox. That's great. It's, it's great. the greatest. I like it. I don't get it. Are you making fun of me? No. I'm trying to help you out. I know. I'm just, you're such a weird-looking guy. And you sound funny. You know. This guy. This one is, I love Paulie's sense of humor. I don't always get it, but he did fuck my wife. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> I don't know where that where it came I don't from. care. It was fucking hilarious. I forget whose wife was fucked by who. Uh. <laughs> like how me and Johnny immediately got contentious. Yeah. Like we're like, let's strike a deal, and Paul Bunyan's like this like fucking celebrity that needs a handler. With it. Can't prove it. <laughs> I've been going all around town saying that you did that. <laughs> you said that you did it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, that's what today is. Mm. You're welcome, everyone. Hashtag National Paul Bunyan Day. Remember that. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Mr. Hey, Bunyan. Speaking of thanks, let's thank uh, ourselves to move on to another segment. Don't, don't. You can't shoehorn the segue in. Just don't. Let's, um, uh, let's, uh, let's take off this pair of shoes and put on <laughs> a new pair of shoes all Mr. Rogers-like. And we'll do it, but with segments. In the context of this podcast. His first name was Fred. Oh. And now it's time for... Things What Got Sent Us! Oh, bub. <laughs> what did you actually say? Oh, pub. Sorry, Auckland. Hey, oh. what is this? What's going on? This is things that were sent to us via or via, if you're wrong, our website or other sources on the internet, but most of our website at wastingallthetime.com slash contact. And there's a form there. You can fill it out and send us stuff. We will not only read it, but we will look at it as well. This one is a question from our good friend, Gary Innatomis, Master of Divinity. Gary Innatomis, Master, Master of, of Divinity. divinity. Did you like that harmony? That was, I practiced that. Very rad. Thank you. John said it was rad. He's a professional vocalist. 
Gary asks, I just bought a new house and I'm looking to make some awesome upgrades before I move in. That's not a question. What features should I include in a brand new house for a human person? Ooh. Well, I think uh, for you, Gary, um, you know, if you've got the room for it, I think you should go with the deluxe spawning pool rather than just the basic <laughs> model. Very important. The deluxe spawning pool is going to have um, just just those like nice extra amenities, uh, like the um, the egg sac holster and the um, with the felt lining on the egg the sac. Yes. Lining, oh, yes. Oh, top tier. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, you know, just uh, it comes in a bundle with um, you know pre scented. Um, Brood cloth. Uh, which, Brood cloth is expensive. It is expensive. Yeah, and they just bundle it in there with the yeah. deluxe version, um, because you don't want the, uh, you know, you don't want the kids to be, you know, imprinting on the wrong stuff. You know, especially no. in an environment like like, like you're new. in right now. You know, it's just uh, it's really tricky. And so if you just hang that brood cloth uh, on on whatever you need them to imprint on. That's gonna that's gonna go a long way towards towards uh, solving that problem, and you'll uh, you'll be really thankful for that once they reach their molting stage. Yeah, Dave, what do you got? What what kind yeah. of new features in a house? Well, Gary, in a I, new house. I would just caution you not to uh, overlook the tactile bliss of a well installed wainscoting. Wainscoting is important. You gotta you gotta you gotta have it that you can look at it. Yep. you gotta have it. To brav it. <laughs> yep. Is that it, Dave? Wainscoting? Yeah. Wainsc- I mean, it's really good. Huh. Congrats, Gary. Thank you. Nope, I'm not Gary. I'm Cody. Congrats, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> this next one comes from Butt Stuff. Butt Stuff. <laughs> butt Stuff. That's never happened before. <laughs> Tell me about it. What is a fun and creative give to get your SO? What is a fun and creative give, give to get? To get your, y- your SO. SO. Um, <clears throat> some finely installed wainscoting would be God good. Damn it. <laughs> the tactile bliss that comes with that is really not to be overlooked. Step one, get a box. No, wait, that's something. <laughs> Cut a hole in the oh, wait. <laughs> Collect underpants. So what you're gonna want to do is you wanna go you're gonna wanna go out into the desert. Listen to John. And you're gonna wanna dig a hole. Dig it. Uh, real deep. You dig you, that hole. Until you hit the uh, the water table. Ooh. Might be way down. Might be. And you're going to get some of that water. Mm-hmm. At gonna the water table. It, you're going to put it into a jar. Stick it in there. Mm-hmm. You're going to bring it home. Ooh. You're going to put it in the freezer till it freezes. Water table. And then you are going to uh, take that out of the jar. You may have to break the jar. De-jar it. Um. I recommend using a plastic soda bottle of some kind so that you can just cut that away. And you'll have this desert ice that you can then um, Mm -hmm. polish so it's shiny. Polish that ice. And then present it to your broodmate. Um, And uh, if it is sufficiently shiny, she will uh, honor you um, by, you know, Producing your spawn. That is fun and creative. It's a good give. I was going to say candy pop. I was going to say tattoo a picture of your face with her name tattooed on it on her ass. And give her a candy pop. Sure. Once her ass heals. Once her ass heals. Because she got a tattoo on it of your face with her name tattooed on it. Uh, I just don't like that sentence. Listen, Mr. Day Calendar Reader. Once her ass heals. So there you go. Those are some fun and creative gives to get your SO. Ass <clears throat> heals? Yeah. Yes. This is a list. This is a chip I'm Russian now. <laughs> oh, I like it. <laughs> this. Sorry. Soviet Union. Wait, are they around? No. Sorry, USSR? Yet. Nope. Sorry, Czechoslovakia. Nope. Uh, nope. Sorry, CCCP. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Sorry. Pangea? No. Fuck. Sorry, everyone. Uncle Albert? Also, no. 
I mean, the song says it. <laughs> this is a listener suggested scene from Dusty Moody. The year is 20 XDX and wasting all the time has ended. Oh. Wow. Wow, so we're not going to last over 100 years? Thanks, jerk. <laughs> the host finds something new. <laughs> what is the new thing? This, this podcast is a failure. <laughs> <laughs> Century or bust. <clears throat> the host finds something new. What is the new thing they do together? You decide. Oh, thanks, Dusty. Thanks for letting us decide. I guess we will. <laughs> Didn't know the, now the pressure's on. Now that we know <laughs> that we have to decide what this scene is about, and it's got to be within the next ninety-five years. Oh well, no, less than that. Shoot, ninety-two. No, Time eighty-two is a wasting. <gasps> see, see what you did there. Okay, so that's two questions, right? We find something new. That's not a question. It's uh, we find a uh, a ring pop. Uh, what is the new thing they do together? Um, <laughs> Let's I see what you did there. Here. Um, we could do a new podcast. <laughs> we could play Scrabble. We could play. We could make a Jacob's ladder and shock ourselves. That sounds like fun. We On our genitals, could right? dicks, dicks uh, shocking. Develop a new prayer for honesty. <gasps> we have our own religion. <laughs> We John Dave Codyism. We we need to we need to sex that up a bit. Um, JDCism, JDCites, Jadiciites, Jadiciism. We're the Jadiciists. That's sexy. Um, <laughs> we could play My Little Pony. Apocalypse Pony. <clears throat> Apocalypse Pony. I I did a, another version of what you did. You keep singing after I sing, and it makes me sound. Worse. I was going to say bad because that's not accurate. Uh, that's not me. <laughs> uh, we could start a cell phone <coughs> company and not. We could uh, invent a new alphabet. Are we in the scene right now or are we just. I don't know. We I lost track. I can't tell. <laughs> so I had a scene that I was going to do, but now I feel like we're in the scene already. I don't think so. We could. Find a new way to cook potatoes that's different from the other ways. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. So how can you cook potatoes? You can, you can boil them. <laughs> <laughs> Mash them. Stick them in a stew. Uh, you could use the plasma oven because mm. it's the future. At least there's still alcohol in the future. Woo! <gasps> Twist. There isn't. Mm. Mm. I mean, I'm drinking water? Oh. Oh. Well, oh. Dave and Cody, it looks like we're just about out of time. We've wasted all of it. The heat death of the universe has come a little <laughs> quicker than we all expected. Only 82 or 81 years later, technically. Yes. Guys, I really <gasps> thought this would go longer. So did I. I thought my voice would hold out better. Yeah. So all the alcohol ruined mine. Yeah, so all the shouting as a wrestler character ruined mine. Yeah, I don't know. Mine just stayed supple and smooth. It did. It did. You must and not silky. have abused it. I guess not. Dave wasn't trying hard enough. No, he never did. <laughs> That's what I always said. That's why it took 81 years instead of the originally scheduled 75. Hmm. That cursed, dusty, moody. But anyway, us that's down. a argument for another day. Another. Oh my god! What? You guys, what? It's a ring pop. You remember those? Oh, oh. yes, yeah, a ring pop. That's amazing. I'm gonna put it on <laughs> like I actually did get married at some point. Oh. Fantastic! Oh wow! Too bad I feel it never loved. happened. Ever. Not once. No. Make a wish. Oh, I get to wish? Everyone yeah. knows when you put a ring pop on, you have to make a wish. Do I have to, like, put my mouth on it, or? Just do whatever the fuck you want to do. <laughs> That's why you never got married. Oh, Look at that we atrocious could form. form. We could find something new to do together. That would be cool. <laughs> hmm. Lime. Oh. Not expecting that. No, I really thought it was going to be green apple. 
Yeah. The most single of all flavors. Mm, lime. Well, I made a wish. How long do I have to wait for it to come true? I don't know, but I've been thinking maybe now that we're out of time, maybe we should look at doing something different, some <gasps> new podcast Ooh, endeavor. Ooh, the magic is afoot. <sighs> Excellent. My wish, my wish. Oh, you wished for this? Well, I don't know. We'll find out. I'm not going to commit to it until I find out it's good. All right. Ugh. Leave what do Dave. you think? <laughs> what do you think about doing a podcast about painting? Like Cody's gotten really good with oils. Mm. Yeah. So maybe we just start recording, <gasps> and Cody starts painting a thing, mm -hmm. and we talk to Cody <gasps> while me. he paints a podcast. Uh, we could try that, I guess. And then at the end, we set the painting on fire. <gasps> oh, but it's oils. Exactly, it will burn better. Oh, I like burning. Let me fire up the old robo kidneys and we'll I take a walk at it. I mean, I still have my podcast. Catch me up? Yeah. Well, gonna run out of things on that too eventually. It started. How many Rocky movies have you had to watch now? <laughs> I've seen all 25? eight. I've seen all eight of the of the canon one, oh, the numbered. No. Oh, you've not watched any of the Next Generation. No, there's. You uh, haven't gotten into Cyber Rocky. At least twenty five more episodes. Oh, oh, Cyber Rocky's the best. Yes. Did you watch Astronaut Rocky? I did. I did. Yes. It was very unrealistic mm. the way that he was able to to not breathe in space. Mm. But he punched the moon so hard. He did. And then return of Cyber Rocky. Yes, I thought he asphyxiated. And so they they <laughs> plugged up the plot hole since it turned out he was just pretending that he couldn't <laughs> breathe in space. And actually he could breathe in space and that's how he survived to return of Cyborg Rocky. Because he's a spy! He's a yes. spy! Spy Rocky! You have so much to watch. I'm British now for some reason. Wow. But it happens when you get old <laughs> and That's alcohol. We should do a podcast <gasps> where we just watch the Rocky movies. Oh, I've, yes. <laughs> and we can joke about how bad the early ones are. <laughs> or I could paint. Or I could combine them. You could paint while we watch Rocky. <gasps> and then we set Rocky on fire. I'm Mick Jagger now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hold on to this old voice very long. You did, you did download the Jagger <laughs> software patch, didn't you? I did. <laughs> that Jagger's a real asshole. <laughs> it's gone now. I can't bring it back. <laughs> no, guys, you're all missing the point. Oh, what? what? <laughs> this, this is the show. What? Don't you get it? People like they don't want all of that like structure. They don't want all of that, like, artifice. They want to hear just people being genuine with each other. Are you suggesting that we do a postmodernist podcast? No. <gasps> no. How pedantic. It's got to be post-postmodern. Post-postmodern. This is 20XX now. That's true. Yes. He makes a good point. Like when Rocky became a surgeon. One more X and we can drink it. You wait for three. Scrub! This is it. Podcast like, about nothing. Like, people are listening to this right now, I, I bet. <laughs> Hello. They could are have turned it off. To it? Can you hear me? Bring three sandwiches down to the <laughs> station right now. And some liquor. My robo kidneys are getting empty. There is no liquor anymore, you I, know that. Shut up, I can dream. Alrighty, well, that's about it Woo. for that segment. Kicked it in the teeth. Thanks, uh, Butt Stuff, Dusty Moody, and Gary and Thomas, Master of Divinity. Very good. Let's take a quick break, and we'll be right back after this. Break it in half. Hey there, friendos. You're probably having a doozy of a time listening to this latest podcast, and you may be thinking to yourself, how can I get involved in this hilarious experience? Well, I'll tell you. First off, you can go to wastingallthetime.com slash contact for listener-suggested scenes and questiones. But you better believe that there's way more than that. 
can email us at timewastepod at gmail.com. You can find us on Twitter at timewastepod. You can even hit us up on Facebook at, you guessed it, facebook.com slash timewastepod. You can even call the hotline. That's right. You can call us directly and leave us voice messages at area code 916-235-3337. Once again, 916-235-3337. There you go. Now, you too can reach out and make yourself a part of podcast history with me, Dave, John, and whatever amazing and hilarious guests we may have on at any given time. Thanks very much for listening, and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you for holding. Put it back together! Now, <laughs> we're going to do a segment. Good one, Cody. It's topical-like. Oh, yeah, it's true. In that there is a topic article that we will reference. You sure? First, we will read that. Dave, this is article. A, this, this is, is what John does. I, this is stab worthy. This is what John does. I'm going to stab you. Everyone him. seems to accept it when he does it. Mm-hmm. I've already we stabbed John. We'll read that article and then. <sighs> I can't read you. So we're gonna we're gonna look at an article and then we're gonna do stuff with it. I don't have my knife. I'm gonna have a, do stuff. I have a pen. Here I'm we go. To start the segment until he plays the music. Oh, that's right. NYC poop train has small town Alabamians stinking mad. <laughs> waka waka. Parish, Alabama. A stinking train load of human waste from New York City is stranded in a tiny oh. Alabama town, spreading oh. a stench like a giant backed up toilet. And the <laughs> poop train is just the latest example of the South being used as a dumping ground for other states' waste. Uh, or their shit. Get back. In Parrish, Alabama, population 982, the sludge hauling train cars have sat idle sludge. near the Little League ball fields no. for more than two months, Mayor Heather oh, Hall said. No. The smell is unbearable, especially around dusk after the atmosphere has become heated, she said. Oh. No. Oh my goodness, it's just a nightmare here, she said. It smells like rotting corpses or carcasses. It smells like death. How does she know what that smells it like? It smells like a train full of shit. <laughs> Hot shit. Hot <laughs> old shit. In Parish, townspeople are considering rescheduling children's softball games or playing at fields in other communities to escape the stink. Shirlene Pike, who lives about a half mile from the railroad track, said she sometimes dabs peppermint oil under her nose because the smell is so bad. Dab kerosene in my nose. Oh. And light it with a match. <laughs> there are matches in my nose. The poop train's cargo is bound for the Big Sky Landfill, about 20 miles east of Parrish. The landfill has been accepting the New York sewage sludge since early 2017. Previously, it was transferred from trains to trucks in nearby West Jefferson, but officials there obtained an injunction to keep the sludge out of their town. The sludge, quote, smells of dead, rotting animals as well as human waste, West Jefferson's attorney said in a lawsuit against Big Sky Environmental LLC. A connoisseur. It also caused the community to become, quote, infested with flies, the complaint states. After West Jefferson went to court, the train stopped in late January in Parrish, which lacks the zoning regulations to block the train cars. It's sat oh. there ever since. Oh. We're probably going to look at creating some simple zoning laws for the town of Parrish so we can be sure something like this does not happen again, the parish mayor said. Hall said she's optimistic the sludge will all be trucked to the landfill soon. <laughs> she lied like a politician. Mm. That is unfucking fathomable. In Parish, the mayor hopes the material in the train cars is removed before the weather warms up. The material. 
We're moving into the summer. <laughs> His and, dark materials. <laughs> and the summer wow. in the South is not forgiving when it comes to stuff like this, she said. Piles of shit, that is. Oh, my God. I, th- like, I can't, two months? Yep. Wow. I mean, that seems like the kind of thing where you would organize a thing like we're going to hijack this train and we're going to drive it out of town. Right. At the very fucking least, away from the Little League field. Right. Like, how about a mile that way? That's my favorite detail. But then, like, then you have the one neighbor who lives, like, half a mile away and says, like, the stench is still so bad there, half a mile away. Oh, yeah. Oh. And, like, in her house. (sighs) Is there also? I gotta imagine. Is no one else using that train track? Like, are they? Is there like a hub near the Little League right. thing? And they're just like, well, we have it parked at this little off-site thing, or they just stop on the tracks and go, fuck it, not going anywhere. That's not even. Oh, there's no like even a vigilante solution like stealing a train is not like a great one. Uh-huh. There's like, oh, we're gonna destroy it. No, you can't destroy metric tons of shit. Yep. You you can't bury it you can't like light it on fire uh, actually you probably could and it would be horrific for hours oh yeah but it might get rid of it oh no okay, steven be- all right guys thanks for coming to the secret clubhouse no problem yeah, sure thing. okay you all got your, i like secrets you all got your bandanas yep, yep. okay and you got your your boots mm-hmm. yep okay and you brought the fireworks all of them okay Does- Here's what we're going to do. You know, um, I don't know if you know about the poop train. Dude. Everyone knows about the poop train. So you, do know, you do know about the poop train? I, I vomit in my sleep every night. I vomit in a bathtub. That's, you sleep in a bathtub? No. Oh. That's, that's good. It's easier to clean. Yeah. I should sleep in a bathtub. Yeah, don't, don't puke in your sleep. I can't. Really, it's, un, it's unconscious. Okay. I do think you, it's kind of nice. What? Never mind. <laughs> okay. Guys, we all need to be on the same page here, okay? Okay. <coughs> here's what we're going to do. Uh, you know about the poop train? Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. Uh, Sleep vomit. We covered that. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to take the kerosene uh-huh. and the fireworks. Uh-huh. And I brought some matches. <gasps> Dangerous. And I'm not playing. Not playing. That's good. Because you the box, the box says you can't. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the poop train. Ugh. Sorry. It makes me vomit a little every time. And we're going to dump it and set it on fire. Oh. And then that's going to, that's going to that get loud. rid of it. Right. Burn and up then the poop. they'll have to take it away. The poop so, ash. Let's. Let's get what? Dangerous. You can't. Okay. And we cut to them at the poop train. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, my dinner's not working as well. So to get the kerosene <laughs> in the car. <sighs> I don't know where the <sighs> lever is to jump it. Skylar, I'm going to vomit again. Oh, don't do that. <sighs> oh, okay. I don't I know where the lever is. Can you find the lever to Skylar? I'm, I'm trying. Yeah, yeah, it's right here. I think all trains have a lever to dump. That makes sense. A lever to dump? It's yeah. just, it's just oh, dry I don't heaps. think this is that lever. No. Pull it no. anyway. What's this one? I think this is the one that makes it move. Even better. Where's it? Okay, Why guys, plan B. Oh, oh, oh. Let's move the poop train. Okay. okay. Where does this track go? It goes away from the clubhouse. It does. Uh, I think it goes at least some, a couple miles. Did uh, you dump the kerosene on I, it? I did, but then we switched to this plan. What so, if we do both plans? <gasps> I'm f- moving poop we fire train. The train. Then we move it, then we set it on fire. No, 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 we move no. it. No. We set it on fire, and we move it while it's on fire. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Caught up to okay. me. Okay. Just Stop up. breathing through your mouth, man. I, Use your bandana. My nose is broken. Use your bandana. I did. It's full of poop. I didn't say poop. <sighs> okay. I think it's this button here. <laughs> Oh, oh stump it out! Stump oh, it out! The poop. Here it goes! No, make it go first! Make, make it go more. first! Pull the lever! What? Get out! Get oh. out! Yeah. 
Where? Where's Skyler? Where's him? Where's Skyler? I think he's buried. Skyler. You have to I, set it on fire now. Yeah. Hey guys. Set it on. You have to set it on fire. That's not Skylar. that bad. What are you doing? That's not that bad. Did you pull the lever? Are we Did moving? you pull the lever, Skyler? No, I can't now. I pushed though. a button and it dumped. I thought it was going to make the train go. Yeah, oh. that's what buttons do. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. I guess I needed to be in the engine, huh? Is there an engine? It's a train. <laughs> they have those. Yeah. Okay. So, did you... So, it's like... Okay, we have poop kerosene now, right? Yeah, it's like a slurry. Okay. You have the... Wait, but I'm in the poop kerosene. Do you have the matches? Do you have the matches? Wait, 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 no, no! Come on, Skylar. Come on. Swim. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> Swim. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> The Flurry. visceral, oh, <laughs> fun behind the scenes fact: Cody almost threw up during that scene for real. <laughs> <laughs> the best. Oh, oh, that was no, that was not the best. It was the best. Hey, Casey, poop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, guys. <laughs> yeah, Dave. Um, how about a bit of a palate cleanse? A bit of a palate cleanse? Yeah. I could do that. Then uh, let's move it right along, Please, shall we? Before I think about poop slurry. And now it's time for John to break shit down. Now entering the John Along. So I want to talk a little bit about uh, sweaters today and then we can all go home. Now, sweater is really kind of a misnomer because if you wear a sweater and you begin to sweat, you should take that sweater off. It's not intended to make you hot enough to sweat. Uh, It's intended to be used as a torture device. Um, When you are interrogating a prisoner, you put that sweater on the prisoner when it is very warm in the room already, and then they begin to sweat. And as they begin to sweat, they begin, their internal um, defense mechanisms begin to wear down. And so your aggressive questioning methods can bear much better fruit at that point. So um, let's talk about patterns. Now, Argyle is traditional, but I've found that a little stripe across the middle can really improve um, the differentiation of the levels of heat over the body in a much more effective way. You have that band across the middle that is a different temperature because it's a different color, and that is just plays havoc with their brain pan. And so if you want to do that, you need to make sure that you're using it on the toughest cases because you don't want to waste that stuff on someone who's going to crack easily. So you use that on the mastermind. The mastermind. I never knew. <laughs> All right. That was amazing, John. <laughs> and what was that about again? Sweaters. 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 Okay. Nothing better I than mean, a sweater. It, it all sounded sweater-like, but I just wanted to <laughs> circle back to that. <laughs> it sounded like yeah. at first it was like internal or reliving some horrific childhood trauma. It's where they put it on you when you're in prison. Like he's remembering going to family photo day. <laughs> and then uh, it got creepy and real. <laughs> creepy and real. It's a very My musical specialty. Dave episode. Creepy and real. Too many cooks in the kitchen. No. Look it up. Plebeian. Too many books in the store. That's like a Disney song. Too many hooks in the meat locker. That's what they are for. (laughs) Hey, guys. (laughs) Yes, I want to take this opportunity to uh, remind slash inform the listeners that, (gasps) golly, next week. Yes. By the time we're there. There's going to be a whole friggin' podcast network. Yes, there is. So many much podcastings. The Drowning Man Podcast Network. Mm -hmm. That's right. 
You That's, were uh, here for the inception. You were here. You was here's. Yous were here. Y'all's hearings were. You were presently. here, and you also are here. <gasps> That's true. And time is a construct. We're really hoping that you will be there. You e a r here. Oh nope. Mm-mm. Ruined it. That That's was, that the, was really fun. That now was the I same as you that guys. Was, that was great. And then that was definitely on the same. John, you want to close it out? Just you and me. So sure. Thanks ever so much for listening, you guys. Uh, that is gonna do it for this podcast. Is that how he, he does it? That is, uh, we've wasted all the time. No, you're terrible. At it. I Dave, guys, come back. Damn I'm it. Sorry. Hey, I, I, I just, tr- I just really wanted tried. to say that, uh, you know, we're not the only podcast on the network. We're not. part of no. what makes it a network. Yeah. Um, we have some really good friends on here who are fucking hilarious. Yes. Check them out. It's going to be good. You can find out what shows are on the network at drowningmanpodcasts.com. Drowningmanpodcasts.com. Get that S in there. Um, you know, we're, we're launching with a small handful of shows and there are more on the way (laughs) way. Exactly. Curds and, Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know what? There's a chance that you'll hear, uh, the three of us on some of those shows one of these days. Yeah. One O T's days. So, (laughs) (laughs) you you know, there'll be, uh, more on that next week. Mm -hmm. Next week is our 4th of July special. (gasps) Yes. Yes. Probably. Hopefully. If it's not, then it's probably my fault, to be perfectly honest. Definitely my fault. So tune into that. If there was anything about this episode that you liked in particular, which includes our promo for the podcast network, it was neat, then head on over to wastingallthetime.com slash vote. And let us know about it, because at the end of the year, we take a look at what you sent in as your favorite uh, noteworthy scenes, right? Then we collect all those. It's like, in this case, your vote actually matters. And then we do have actual, like, voting. Yeah. Yeah, and, it's great. Uh, do a best of. If mm-hmm. there's something Tradition. in this episode that you really hated, you didn't like it at all, that you thought it was stupid and dumb, go ahead and tweet that to Mr. Hansen at J. Hansen himself. Mm-hmm. As far as I know. I went and checked recently and there was nothing. Nothing. There's got to be something about the show you don't like. That means literally everyone likes everything about every show we've ever done. Uno 100% satisfaction. No guarantee. That was my nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. No Guarantee. Uh, high school. It didn't exist. It didn't. Thank God. That's it for this episode. Uh, so until next time, when we are fully networked. When we are fully networked. My name is Dave. I'm John. Ah, ich bin Cody. And, uh, well, I, you know, thank you. Uh, uh, the boy Howdy is no. continuing his trek Shit. into the wilderness. Stupid. Um, there's a Stupid. long uh, right. this is worse. film right? about it uh, set in the Some 1970s done. where he engages some indigenous cultures oh. and uh, wildlife. And, uh, you know, he comes in yeah, all these happenstances and uh, little vignettes oh, of the beard growing no, uh, as just... the boy howdy becomes the man howdy oh. uh, until finally nope. um, so... you know he comes across a skeleton of a dead relative or so he presumes um, the why, bones why is still happening? Uh, come on the voyage with him Giggity. and uh, you know that's fun nothing like when bones come it's a bone voyage oh my god oh I hate myself Good night, folks Congratulations, you've made it to the end of another episode of Wasting All the Time, a podcast. If you enjoyed this show, then please consider subscribing on Apple Podcasts or Stitcher, or follow us on Spotify. If you really enjoyed the show, then head on over to patreon.com slash timewastepod and become a supporter of our time-wasting efforts. Now, that was a lot of things I just threw at you, so if you forget all of that, just head on over to wastingallthetime.com. And there, we have all the answers.
This show is part of the Drowning Man Podcast Network. Visit drowningmanpodcasts.com.